everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chloe Moly here again with my sister. Hello. Uh, we're playing more Message in a Haunted Mansion. Last episode, we it's got so dark in here. <laughs> Last episode, we I found out it's dark. Where going. <laughs> um, but we got into the attic. We found a lot of secrets, and now apparently we need some kind of like lantern, flashlight, or something. So that's where we're at. Matches. There's matches, like, right there. Grab those matches and light your way, girl. Why are you so hopeless, Nancy? Well, we have the thing to play on the piano. Yes, yes. Good job. <laughs> Turn your butt around. Go and play piano! <laughs> okay. So. I will be our maestro for today. <laughs> so, those are the notes. Yeah, we're gonna need to write, write this down. <laughs> Start singing songs or telling jokes. Uh, telling jokes? Okay, um. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Uh, um. What did Barney the dinosaur say to the little child? Uh, wanna come in my dressing room? No way, that's not good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wow, Chloe. Where did you hear that? That was a pair- well, one of the Barneys was like a molester or something, so... We get real on this show, okay? <laughs> Gotta keep the people informed. Stay away from Barney. He's nothing but trouble. Okay, so... Oh, we'll wait till we get the other thing back up before we start playing piano. <laughs> then E, number two. Then D, number second one up is G is three. A is four. Then. The second line up again, which is G, which would be five. Okay, so then go to the other thing. Come on, okay. So B is this one, so B E G. We did it, yes! <laughs> I was gonna say, don't tell me that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to be like, screw you, Courtney. The bandit's treasure. My love, here is the key you'll need. Okay, grab on to that. And is this... That's it? The book! Do you not see the book? Oh. It's stuck. <laughs> really, Chloe? <laughs> really? I got it, I got it, don't worry. I, I told you, you need to let me do the clicky thing. No, shit, shut up, I got it. Bring up the thing on your phone again. <laughs> Wait, hold on. B. E. Yeah, see, I did it. I don't. I need a book. 
There was the only thing there. See? What'd you grab? The piece of paper. The one thing that was there to grab. <laughs> you just don't trust me anymore. Have a little faith, sister. So the question is, where the hell does this piece of paper go? So if there is an awkward cut, uh, my sister had an important phone call she had to take. <laughs> so. I had to talk to my boyfriend. Well, Courtney, I was going to make it sound better than just your boyfriend was calling, but you ruined it. So <laughs> that's your own fault now. <laughs> well, no. It's pretty, pretty. I think it sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty, pretty. <laughs> pretty, pretty princess. Okay. Except he's not a princess, just in case y'all are wondering. He's a fireman. <laughs> She does want li this. Welcome to this episode of Listen to Courtney brag about her boyfriend. <laughs> so let's see. We have some of this stuff here. What can we do with the iron? Well, we can iron their faces, and maybe the plastic will melt off, and that <laughs> smile will fade away. <laughs> well, they won't be smiling after we iron their faces already. That's but the you tile. Tile one bound. Okay, if here. It won't fit. If it won't fit. Okay, then go there. That was weird. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nancy. <laughs> Someone here? No? Oh, okay. So, big question. How do we... We need a light, so that way we could go into the vent. Which I think we need to find the other tiles to do that, to be honest. I said the grate from the fireplace downstairs. <laughs> no, turn around. In the meantime, let's I'm gonna go back to uh, a normal hour <laughs> and like maybe like try and talk to Abby or something. Oh, it's already 8 a.m. <laughs> okay, never mind. They're probably awake. <laughs> We've been up all night just sleuthing. <laughs> Partying. Woohoo! That means, uh, Plastic Face McGee is back downstairs. Hi, Nancy. I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. Okay, whatever. Are you the ghost that's haunting the place? <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> There's more to this house than you think, Nancy. You probably don't believe me, and with good reason, I admit it. Mm -hmm. But there are some mysteries in life best left unsolved. Have you been creating the accidents? Well, well, we're basically asking you the same question, but you know, you might give us a different answer. I've had nothing to do with these accidents. They cost us both time and Like, I find it, one of the things I love, especially with the older Nancy Drew games as well, is just how blunt Nancy is. She's just like, did you murder someone? Like, they're just gonna say, oh yeah, that was me. <laughs> no one's gotta do that, Nancy. You gotta be more sneaky about it. I feel like she gets better at being more subtle uh, in future games. Hello. <laughs> okay. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. You're still staring at the same list. What are yeah, you doing? What are you... <laughs> She's been scribbling. What are you accomplishing? <laughs> She's been writing the same note for five days. <laughs> I've been peeking on it. It doesn't say anything different. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Yeah, we'll just leave. <laughs> like, even Nancy doesn't want to stay in the same room with him Do for more than five seconds. Do you have a light? Did we overlook one in the attic? No, I, like I said, I think we need to find the rest of the tiles for the fireplace. So then that's how we find a light, if you catch my drift. You're not catching my drift, are you? Hmm, nope. Well, let's call Bess and George since we finally found the attic key. <laughs> uh, 
another thing about these games and having to type out all the phone numbers is you eventually just, you know, it's muscle memory by this point and you already know what to type and you don't even have to look at the numbers. And George. Hello, you two. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Listen to this. Wow, it took you so long to say that, Nancy. Yeah. yeah. Gotta got have that dramatic pause. <gasps> Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to the silence as I'm not getting oh, responding. An old playbill for a musical called The, the Bandit's, Bandit's Treasure. Treasure. The Bandit's Treasure? Maybe there is treasure in the house. I found some letters written by E. Valdez. I guess he was the owner of a hotel named The Golden Gardenia. Ooh, that Valdez. sounds fancy. Golden <laughs> Gardenias? I thought they were all white. That's it. Don't you see? The hotel has gold hidden in it, and Valdez is watching over it. I don't think so, Bess. <laughs> Can you that sounds like a name news? for a hotel that mom would come up to with. Do Our mom loves gardenias. If there's a hidden message in the music, <laughs> then only music can decode it. Okay, you were so hopeful. Right, I'll Hi, be leaving now. <laughs> you were so helpful this, this time. Super. Go upstairs in the attic and look and see if there's something to help solve that paper. Solve the paper? SOLVE THE PAPER! <laughs> <coughs> upstairs we go. One, two, three, four. One, uh, two, two, three, three four. four. March. One, two, one, two. Get lost and go back. Okay. To the attic. It's this way. Why am I so it bad at this? <laughs> it locked. Yes, that's right. Grab the key. I get a comfy place to sit. Do you think maybe the... I don't know. Go... Can you set the paper down? Like, maybe go to the desk. Because there's music... Isn't there music in there? Oh, it's yeah, because there's holes on... There's holes in the paper. Yeah. So maybe it reveals a message. Yes, okay. Find! Find. My goodness, that was loud in my ear. <laughs> Find <laughs> Diego on <laughs> My on cat is getting into trouble. <laughs> stairs. Okay, so we need to find something on the stairs. Oop, go back. So their clue actually was helpful then. <laughs> um, Is there not like a lantern in there we can grab? No, like yeah. like I said, I'm pretty sure we need to find all those panels first. You would understand what I'm talking about if you <laughs> caught my drift. So look at like the railing or something. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so it says Diego, Diego right there. Or that's what you spell. C D E F G. another thing that is a symbol to something yeah I think we probably needed to open something okay let's see Diego I've waited so long for your return but have kept your treasure true here here in the tool here is the tool you'll need to find it may your Something never turn out of luck. Run out of luck. <clears throat> your rainbows. Oh, may your rainbows never run out of luck. The stand... Oh, this... 
something and moon. The stars and moon. Yeah, the stars and moon will, will shine, shine on you, you as you be- begin as you, your great your quest. As you begin your quest, move like a knight whom has who quickly passed the test. Take, Take care, care to, to keep, keep your faith, faith in check, check along the picture. forever far so you may see the sun return to claim its rightful order okay why do they have to write in such weird loopy handwriting like everyone in this house even the people who lived here like 200 years ago <laughs> use the same loopy scrawling handwriting that's like impossible to read so the night. So we saw the book about something about a night in the library. Let's go sneak a peek. Is there like a chessboard somewhere? Do we need to play mahjong? Because I know I, I think we need to play mahjong at some point in this game. No, I just want you to know that the you know, that's four. The knight, unlike any other piece, has the ability to move on an unfixed path that leaves one square and arrives at another without going anywhere in between. In effect, it can leap over other pieces and land at its destination. Okay, I already- I know how to play chess. Thank you. I almost feel like we have to do the maze to find the password and, like, the stuff. You know? I'm gonna head back to our room for a spell. Oh yeah, I was going in the right direction. <laughs> or, <clears throat> you know what? Call Mr. George again. <laughs> Help me some more. I'm the best detective, I promise. <laughs> What's up? You'll never believe this, but things have gotten even more complicated. I found some clues that there might be buried treasure in the house. Wow! Oh, Nancy, it sounds like you've got a real case on your hands. How can we help? Can you talk to Rose again? I'm not sure what to do next. Don't be dumb and don't be a waiter. Use the iron. Talk to you later. Oh. I should get going. Talk okay. to you later. Call us. I love how <laughs> Bess and George conveniently know exactly what to do. <laughs> They're the ones behind it all. <laughs> Maybe Bess and George should be the detectives because they seem to be better at this than, than we are. Yeah, because I was thinking about using the iron for somebody's face. <laughs> yes, we only have thoughts of violence. And so now we can check the, the thing upstairs. But let's talk to Rose first yeah. like you want to. I can see your there baby. should be a go. cup. So long. A broken cup. Maybe not there. Try the table, the dining room table, because I don't think we've looked. No. Did we have to check while she's not here? Yeah, maybe we do just go upstairs. I keep forgetting there's easier stairs to go up right here. And then go to our room. Oh. Is that when the thing happens? Well, it's when I think... Broken um, cup. There it is. Alright, there we go. Dragon then pottery. So that's the symbol for dragon then. There we go. And then take the tile. Yes, we only need one more tile. with 
those things. Yeah, well, let's look at our uh, journal. journal. Yeah. Treasure room in house. Treasure room. You do great at taking notes on people, Nancy. Million dollar insurance policy. Yes, well, we've already established that. Okay, so basically she hadn't figured out much. <laughs> Good job, Nancy. You did it. So I guess we just, like, take a nap or something? What time is it? 10 a.m. Maybe we could go to, like, when is uh, Abby gone? From 3 to 6. Okay. So... We'll go to three and scope out her room. Maybe we can find the spider thing to unlock her wardrobe. Because I have a feeling it's going to appear in that box. Oh, yep. Here it is. Boom. Ooh. There it is. Spoopy letter. Let's check it out. Leave, Leave the this mansion now! now. <laughs> that probably is going to kill your ears. Headphone warning! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we got a spoopy note. That's great. That means we're close. Yes. Anytime spoopiness happens like that, that means no, we're close. We've almost solved it. Oh, what did you take? Why are you stealing her things? Oh, there no. it was. It was just very well are you blended in. Are you serious? <laughs> Ask cancer. <laughs> Ooh. Click at the buttons. Spoopy sound effect. Yes, yes. We, yes, we, we gathered that. It was all phony, hoaxy, blah, blah, blah. High five! <laughs> yeah, just slap the thing and knock it off the shelf. What are you doing? I was I just needing- the spider so Abby doesn't suspect anything. Oh. Yes, that would make sense. She'd be like, who stole my shit? <laughs> uh, it was probably Charlie. You know, he's been causing all those accidents. <laughs> we all know. Go, go attack him. <laughs> At least Nancy's more on top of things than we are. <laughs> <laughs> we would have just left. <laughs> then she would have been at our room the next day like, what is my thing? Accusatory. Empty your pockets, Nancy. Oh. oh. Like, over your shoulder. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. I know a magic trick. Hello. Okay. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. I'm very, I'm busy too. I got, I got a lot of important things to do. So, oh, how many more uh, letter symbols did we find? Oh, because the other one, that would have been one more. Yeah, hmm. that would be five. That means we need three more. Yeah, you had the pins. I had no idea what it was, so. There we go. Let's talk to Plastic Face Kin. Here's He's like a web skin, but it's face kin. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. What's up? I'll let you get back to your How come no one has anything to Go say? Put the tile in. Oh yeah. Maybe something will pop up and be like, "Yo, oh, here's conveniently the last tile." <laughs> just right before your eyes, it just appears, and you're like, "Oh, hey!" Maybe Lewis would be like, "Hey, I have this other one in my pocket." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Stop! No, I just I know, realized I just... things! You're gonna make me lose my cool! Literally, because there's a fire! You start slapping me as I'm trying to get to the fire extinguisher because you're like, oh! And I'm like, ah! Oh, jeez. Never extinguish a fire with Courtney by you. <laughs> She'll just slap you and be like, oh my god, a fire! I got excited! Everybody in the house. And none of them can figure out what caused the fire. 
Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. What did hmm. the fire department Sounds say? Sounds suspicious. I think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. So and someone else can do renovations? Hmm. hmm, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> No, <laughs> Only Charlie can do this. <laughs> because who else but him with his plastic face, which is a very good stand-in for a hammer. <laughs> you just smack his face into nails. <laughs> Don't you realize Pinocchio just wants him and Charlie to have the place? So much money to insure the house against fire. For protection? I've put my entire life savings into this house. And if it goes up in smoke... I'll lose everything. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, then. Oh. Guess we'll continue going to the li library. Ah, Nancy, what a shame to have lost those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Okay, so we're gonna end this episode here. Um, we have to be cut off a... Well, I mean, technically it's not really early, but earlier than what I was expecting. Because of reasons. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see you on the next episode of... Message in a Haunted Mansion. I've been Chloe Molly with you today, and we'll see you next time. Peace.